And uh, check this. <laughs> this is a 1959 burst. Her name is Gladys. She's got awesome breasts. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, we're gonna. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm always flabbergasted. I know everybody's like, "Hey, man, what's with the belt buckle?" I'm not wearing a belt, so everybody shut up. Um, my pants are falling down, so shut up. And I'm doing it for the video. This guitar, I pulled it out of the case myself, and I thought, oh my God, that looks brand new. But it's a 1959, man, it's insane. The only time, I mean, you see a little bit of wear here and there, and on the back of the neck, it's got a little, you know, you can see that it's a little cloudy, it's not as shiny as uh, the body there, but uh, the top is insane. It looks way better in person. What? Oh my Dude. God! I'm shooting a show! Dude! <laughs> What? Your Phil X! Get off your knees! Man, I came all the way from Narnia to get your autograph. Narnia? Would you do me, would you do me the, I'm from Narnia. Would you do me the honor of signing my Phil X poster? Dude, if you sign my chest. Your, your chest? Later. Is that so what I you can get it? it? So I can get it tattooed. <laughs> can you? Oh, dude. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. Jimmy, yeah. Everybody look at this. He's not really from Narnia. Say, no! Say who you are. I'm Rob Chappers from England, and uh, I'm here to we're in California! Yeah! We had dinner and drinks last night with other people. More, more drinks than I could ever <laughs> fathom were possibly quenchable in this particular climate. I'm not and really, it was I'm, uh, it was really worrying. I'm not really signing this. I video. think you should sign it, but I think we should get a photograph. Let's get a photograph. Can you can, you, can I get a friend to get a photograph of us together? That'd be really good. Wait, 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 let's photograph them. <laughs> ready, ready? Oh. That's good. Hey, it's Captain Lee! No! Captain Lee, wait, come here for a second. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Captain Lee's here too. Holy It's a trifecta of guitar guys. It's a mammoth man mountain of musical mayhem. <laughs> it's two really good guitarists and a <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, what the f am I doing here? Um, I don't know, but I think you should pick up a guitar. I think we should get a guitar. What about this incredible 50... Prompt. Six. Uh, Esquire. From Fender Corporation. Whoa, yeah! Whoa. Step on that pedal! <laughs> <laughs> I trod on the goodness. <laughs> but I don't need much of it because this guitar is the best Esquire Telecaster shaker I've ever played in my entire life. I have to Bar concur. None. I have to concur. He concurs. Um, when I landed... After my nine hour flight from Narnia, <laughs> I crawled through customs, got picked up by an attractive blonde, and dropped here. And, uh, and then within half an hour, I played over a million dollars worth of ridiculous wooden win. And this one was the one that caught my fancy. It's it just. It touched your soul, didn't it? It Did touched it something. Yeah. <laughs> if it found my soul, I was a lucky man. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> it's just ridiculously incredible. It's got a honk and a bite and all sorts of things. And it complements this lovely uh, Gladys. We're going to be doing some jamming. I think we are. Do we want to, like, uh, let's see. Let's talk about what we're doing next well, let me Let me find the pick in the right key. <laughs> the pick in the right key? That this one's in E. Right. It's all right. Yeah, nice. It's okay. uh, but when you, when you play, what do you think about? Do you think about intervallics and modes and notes? Or do you just kind of go, oh! Uh, well, and what do you reckon the answer was? Girls. We think about girls. <laughs> That's all I think about is girls when I'm playing guitar. I don't think about modes. I don't get in the modal aspect of anything except for the gin and tonic mode that we talked about last night. Right, and for half a second I went, Tequila. I don't know that mode. Right. And then I realized that it's that I, not a mode. It's, it's a made up thing. It's a drink. But my whole point is that I, I don't think about it. I just I feel like um, my hands just go where they feel like going and it's usually led by, if I'm feeling the tune is led by my heart, hopefully, because uh, it's, it's what you feel. From the piece of music, right? But you were also saying that you're pentatonic. I'm a pentatonic. And it's really, really fanatic. straightforward. Yeah. Pentatonic fanatic. Because there's so much you can do with a pentatonic that people don't think about. They think it's just that basic, that one scale, but I, I move it around and I throw in a flat five or a two or whatever. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should you should work on that. But my whole my whole thing is there's so many things that you can do, and everybody that goes, wow, that was a really cool lick. What, was, what mode was that? I'm like, the pentatonic. pentatonic. And you were saying, yeah. even yourself. Well, every whenever time I, I listen... hear an amazing lick, like the one that I tried to nick from you but failed to do, <laughs> uh, it's always a pentatonic You lick. talk funny. I know, it's true. All right, I'm just kidding. We talk like that in Narnia. <laughs> it's, the way we, it's the way we sound. Take my phone uh, how does that guitar sound? This guitar sounds ridiculous. I'm, oh, by the way, I'm in the uh, US Evil Robot heading 
uh, cabinet, and uh, my buddy. I mean, the, the, the C30. The C30. And um, just the E chord. <laughs> This is just this guitar and the amp cranked up. The cool thing about it is that we were talking about how you turn down in these amps and you just get beauteous tones. Like this is the neck pickup on five. Butta. So that kind of thing, right? And then he, at the same time, you know, Rob was going through craziness with this guitar and he could just totally walk out, rock out this crazy stuff. And then he turned down and he was doing the same kind of thing too, so. That's a, the kind of thing that you can't get from a solid state amp or a high gainy kind of amp. Yeah. These are classic sounding guitar amps. And it, well, how, well, the way I work is I love just putting a, if I need a little more gain, I put a pedal in front, like an overdrive, like a bad monkey, which is my favorite. And what they're not going to get behind the camera in their rooms with their coffee, sat down with their pets, is the feeling of movement we're getting, yeah, yeah. E even behind this bulletproof screen. Yeah, we've had to have an able. You know. Yeah, we, we're, we're really cranked up. So, so that magic doesn't end up sounding like in these lavaliers. <clears throat> well, we you go first. We're gonna go. Uh, <laughs> wow, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh! Okay, so we've never played together before, and that was the first time, and that's what does happens. It, does it show? Probably, right? We need a drummer and a bass player. Could you throw that pick at them? Uh, not even close. Hey, Whoa, hit the Whoa. other wall, though. <laughs> Did I hit you? Yeah. And then it hit the wall. Did you just hit John Casher, the amazing... I hit hot... John Casher, come in here, John Casher. Yeah, come here. Could you nestle just... between our ample bust? I hit John with the pick. I apologize. But cool, turn around and say hi. There's, there's a hole here okay, for a man. <laughs> no, really. Get out. Get out. We don't have a lot of time. No respect. We, we don't have a lot of time. John is responsible uh, for these amazing apps behind us. We just want to, you know, he's the mastermind behind the construction. So the evil robot yes. is a ridiculous mound of wind. And that's it's, why we're together. That is one of that's the reasons why we're, we're together. Out. Yeah. Well, I've spent a bit more time on the C30 than I have the American one. Right. And what I really like about the C30, and I found out recently, but haven't yet done, 
is that you can put any valve in it and any number of valves. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, and you get different sounds. Yeah, yeah. From the, and he's talking about valves. He's talking about the oh, preamp tubes. tubes. The yeah, preamp you call them tubes. tubes. We call them tubes here. Sorry, in Narnia, we call them valves. Anyways, <laughs> how do you approach soloing, my friend? Uh, well, I'm pretty much like you, except that when I'm playing over a chord progression, I just close my eyes and I listen to what's in my head and then try and put it through my hands. Nice. But very often, what I notice is that it just goes completely wrong. But it's uh, not wrong. No, it's never wrong. You're ne it's you just an interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> you're only ever... You're, like, you're thinking of the word, <laughs> damn, and what comes <laughs> out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I sometimes, because I sing a little bit too, Yes. I'll come up with uh, lyric and, and, and lyric and use that as a rhythmical concept that I put out through a guitar. So you had a good one that you told me in a restaurant for the ending of a song that we can't particularly use here. But things like jam sandwiches, you know. <laughs> what, did, what, did, what, did, what was the last name? We can say anything we want. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> but the thing is, is like, it, we talk about that, right? And it's, it's, it's usually on, yeah. on It's, it's kind of like when you think about um, drum fills. Like, but pat boogie the butt or pat boon debbie boon caterpillar <laughs> pop a dom pop a dom fuck it a sucker fuck it a sucker <laughs> and then when we think about those rhythms we were talking about this because i said you know what i don't really read theory like uh you know notation and stuff like that so when i go into the studio i can listen to a piece of music and i know okay well that's the a chord and then that was a c chord and that was a d chord and that was a d over f sharp and i can write it all out so i can perform the song with the band while whoever who else could be reading, but I don't want to hold anybody back. But if, say, at the end, the eighth bar of the chorus, everybody's got to go, da 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 always write in English, still of the night, still of the night, still uh, because that's how I roll. Something that I do, that I think you might, or some intuitive musicians do as well, is that when I'm playing lead, I breathe out as I'm playing. And when I run out of breath, I stop playing. Wow. And breathe in, so that it gives it a natural vocal, you know, Quality. Well, when I'm really going for it, I hold my breath and I sometimes pass out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll literally, I'll be like, um... And it, 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 it forces me into a position where I can't just be kind of all the time right. because that gets it gets over the top and too much and it ruins the quality of the music. You know? Wow, I'm gonna have to try that. Man. Limitations Maybe force I'll... you to be creative. Forget that melody 